After the successful release of the 20 watt version of the Wii Create Vision, Wii Create has finally brought us the 40 watt model of its inaugural laser. Now, I loved the original Vision, but since that initial video, a few problems have come up that I have to make sure I talk about and inform you guys of, as well as all the stuff that I still like about both the 20 and 40 watt versions of this laser. Full disclosure, a lot of people like to say, I'm not getting paid to make this video. Well, I got the Wii Create Vision 40 watt for free. That's kind of a payment, but we create has no say in the video content and won't see it until it's released, just like you guys are now. If after you watch this review, you think the we create vision is something you'd like to pick up, I have an affiliate link in the description. I earn a small commission at no cost to you. It helps me do what I do and enables me to make more videos. So the new 40 watt version of the we create vision has all of the same features that I loved about the 20 watt version, but, and I think I'm breaking news here, twice the power. So the 20 watt version of the We Create Vision was the first laser I used with autofocus, which was a game changer for me. No longer did I have to use that tiny little like three tiered block and jam it under the laser module to figure out my focus. Um, just did it automatically, which was great. The only issue now is that if you open the lid and put another piece in to be engraved or cut, it wants to focus. Really, the Vision needs to have some kind of button that sets it as last focus mark or retain focus. I know there's a lot of you out there that have been using Lightburn. For the longest time, the Wii Create didn't work with Lightburn, and recently they've got a software update out, so now it actually works with Lightburn, but the camera still doesn't work with Lightburn. It is lucky for them that the software they launched with is pretty good, but I know they're missing like a giant chunk of the market not having Lightburn ready for the Wii Create with the camera integration from the beginning. The 20 watt version of the Wii Create Vision was the first laser I ever used with a camera and it seems like this is the same camera as the original Vision. So awesome, I didn't even know that lasers had cameras. You may think that's pretty funny of me to say that, but I just didn't. I hadn't used one with the camera, so I was really happy with it. But it seems like when you get to the outside edge of that camera view, your precision starts to take a nosedive. As much as this test isn't incredible, I use a lot of scrap that I engrave and then cut out, or larger pieces that I engrave and then cut out. Very rarely am I engraving on a finished cut piece, but if I was, I'd just run a couple of tests onto some cardstock and then line my project up using those test marks. I feel like given that WeCreate's camera only works in its software, that WeCreate should be able to dial that camera in. Now with all these nitpicky things out of the way, the Wii Create Vision is still the easiest laser I've ever used from getting it set up to the integrated camera and solid software. By far out of the box with the software and the camera, easiest laser I've ever used. As far as work area is concerned, the Wii Create Vision can fit a piece of material 19 and a quarter by about 12 and a half, but can only cut 16 by 11 inches or so. So take that into account. That's a little less than its competition but still a rather good size if you ask me. WeCreate has also recently added a pass-through attachment, which allows you to send much longer pieces of material through your WeCreate and get a much larger work area. That's pretty awesome. The fact that it comes with Wi-Fi is certainly not missed on me. I have a lot of cables going around my shop. It's great that the WeCreate just has to be powered and put in its spot and I don't have to string a USB cable from my computer all the way across the other side of the shop. The auto leveling feature of this laser certainly shines through the most when you're using it in conjunction with the rotary attachment. If that's the kind of stuff you're interested most in doing, this might be the laser you want to have a look at. So the 40 watt and obviously the 20 watt both are class one enclosures, which means you don't need goggles to operate them, which is kind of handy. But if you're going to use a pass through attachment, opening up the laser, you may need goggles then make sure you have a look at that. Also, safety features, if you lift the lid while it's running, it'll stop, which is quite important, especially if you want it to be used with kids at a school, obviously with adult supervision, but in that kind of scenario. Integrated air assist is a must on all of these lasers now, but we shouldn't overlook the fact that the Vision 20 and 40 watt both come with integrated air assist that helps you cut easier and clear debris. So if you're anything like me, you might breeze over some of the finer points of your We Create Vision instruction manual, never put anything on top of the vision, and always return it to idle mode when you're not using it. 
With all that out of the way, I figure I should at least show you what I've been using the Vision for. I've been working on this leather crown, and the Vision 40 watt was exactly what I needed to cut through this 14 ounce leather and engrave it with all these fine details. So in conclusion, as long as we create is on top of these issues, I think this is a great laser for a beginner or for kids under supervision, schools. I think that it's ease of use, uh, autofocusing, the camera, all that stuff, it's a great package but they just need to fine tune it a little bit. So do your own research and see if that's something that you wanna dive into or not. If it is something you wanna dive into, affiliate links in the description of this video. It helps me out and enables me to do more of these videos for you guys. And lastly, this year I dove full bore into laser patterns. You can get SVG files for all of my regular PDF patterns on my website, on my Patreon, go check those out. You can also find free patterns on Discord and Patreon as a free member, occasionally on different months all in the description of this video. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.